Today I was uh, working on some flies for bluegill fishing and I thought about a, a fly that I had seen previously over the years and it was called a breadcrest fly. So um, I've changed it up a little bit, um, added a, the bead and a collar to it where it's normally kind of like a um, soft hackle fan back and I've got that on there too. I'm dealing with a new uh, had to get a new phone and this camera I'm still trying to figure out how to adjust it so uh, I apologize for not being able to get it completely in focus but um, I thought y'all would like to like to have this jig to be able to put into your arsenal especially with the brim bedding right now so what we're gonna do we're gonna tie this on a, a number 10 nymph hook and before I put it in there, I'm going to use a um, 3.5 millimeter or 964 black bead head. Get that loaded up. And into the vise. As I'm putting it in the vise, I'm going to, I'm going to bend down the barb, make it barbless. Okay, I'm going to be using a black 140 diameter thread. I'm going to start it and lay down, a, lay down your coat. And we're going to go a little further back, just about to where the bend starts to come around. Take that off. All right, with this fly, what you're doing is... Uh, you're taking tail feathers off a of grouse and you're splitting it in half so you end up with two pieces like this that white stuff in there you need to get that out if, as much as possible anyway um, and what you do you, you soak this in a, a glass of or a container with a warm water for about I think I soaked mine for about 15 minutes and most of it peeled off. But you'll understand more in just a second when we go to tying this of, uh, of the look that it gives and what we're after. But what you're doing, you're taking your feather and you're, you're cutting most of the barbs off to where you're only leaving about an eighth of an inch of your actual barbs onto the stem. So what we're going to do, we're going to tie this in. I don't want to use quite that. So we're going to go ahead and tie that on your fly. All right, then I'm going to get off some rabbit um, hers, her. dubbing that it you know it comes from uh, between the between the eyes or on top of the rabbit's head and it gives you a lot of uh, rough look fibers once you go to wrapping it I hate I ain't more organized for you uh, this is kind of just a spur of the moment decision to go ahead and make a video of this because I know some people will really love to have this fly during the brim brim bed. Right, Taking wrap right back make you a pretty good body on it. Come right on back up against that ball. Alright we're going to take this. I'm going to clip a hackle pliers to it. And what we're going to have, you're starting to see them barbs stick up. So you want to, to try to keep that piece that you cut in half up against the fly. And that, that's going to make them barbs stick up just like what they were doing. And plus it's going to make a rib going all the way back up to your fly. Carry that all the way to the 
to the ball, tie it off. So, what you end up with, these are long, which is meant to be that. But now you can trim them. And I like to trim them about maybe a quarter inch long. You know, it's hard to it's hard to cut them exact when you're when you're actually trying to trim them on the tail feather to start off with. So what I do is just cut off the major part of it. If you'll notice, I'm I'm cutting them. And they're about the same length as what the hook opening is. So, and I apologize for this focus not being right today. But there you see, it kind of looks like a grub. All right. I'm going to use, uh, this is a, uh, I brought, uh, took this off a hen back. Like I say, that's a soft hackle. You can use, you know, about any any soft tackle you want to use uh, this this particular with the brown is going to go good with this brown brown here you want to strip the, the, the fluff off of it give you a stem that's just a that's just basically a handle and then what you want to do is, is pull them fibers back get down here where you got just a little tip that's your tying point so we're going to tie it in right behind the bead. And you can clip that little, little last piece off. All right, holding it with the stem, you're going to, you're going to pull all them fibers back. Don't pull it tighter, you'll pull it right back off. And then you're going to start wrapping it around, around the hook. Pulling them fibers back every wrap. So that's about two. three a lot of people just only put one or two wraps but with this being especially for the brim i want as much uh action off of this soft hackle as i can get all right so once you get it all wrapped just kind of pull them fibers backwards and then finish it off right behind that bead head where the where the soft hackles are going backwards. All right, this time, this is the difference that I like to do. I'm going to use a uh, saddle hackle. And it's it's for probably about a 14 to 15 size fly. So it's just going to give you a little bit of collar as we tie it in and wrap it right behind that bead. And what this does, this kind of adds just a little bit more to it to where we'd use that thread to push the soft hackle backwards. So we're just going to wrap out how many every times you want to. And tie it off. Give you a couple whips on it. Take your, uh, your head cement and just touch, just touch the, the collar right there. Just tie that thread in. And that's it. That's kind of a modified uh, bread crust fly um, for brim fishing. <laughs> you're going to really love this fly. It gives you a lot of movement in the water. And you can see it's kind of like a bug, spider, kind of a mix. Of, especially on river fishing. Of what what's falling from the trees into the water. And uh, the bluegill is going to eat that fly up for you. Um, that's a size 10. Um, I hope you uh, have a chance to tie this. Um, if you don't have a grouse, you can use about any tail feather. But, you know, whether you're staying brown or whatever, try to keep it kind of matching. But, guys, I hope y'all have good luck with this one. And uh, thanks for watching.